So, why did I choose to study applied neuroscience? Well, to those that don't know, I am studying applied neuroscience, MSc, that's a master's, in at, or at King's College London. For me, I failed my first degree, my bachelor's in engineering, and I got 38%. It was a ridiculously crap grade. And so going forward, I had to really work out how I was going to maneuver through life. At the time, I wasn't really unhappy because I had so much confidence in myself. I was like 22 years old at the time. Oh, I don't know what the hell I was doing. I, I was just like, or oh, in exam season, I, I just, I thought I was doing the work, but I, I, deep down I knew I wasn't, but I was telling myself that it will all be okay. Anyway, when I saw my grade, I was just like filled with emotions of, I'm going to be a conqueror of cash, man. Anyway, months later, I, I <laughs> reality sunk in and I thought, hmm, let me try and become a personal trainer and overtake everyone financially because I can be self-employed and make more money than them. I have more desperation. I have more fire than them. F them. I wasn't that resentful towards other people for doing their work, but they were a good benchmark for me to, uh, you know, compare myself to along the way and look uh, I don't believe comparing yourself to other people is necessary in all cases sometimes it is required though and sometimes it happens unconsciously which is not a bad thing it's how we motivate ourselves to improve ourselves anyway as time went on I moved into engineering uh, not actual engineering because I couldn't get an actual engineering job with my rubbish grades but I found that you can make 3D models for the engineers. Uh, there's a whole job and a whole sector, so to speak, or a whole part of the work is, is, or a big chunk of engineers work is producing drawings and they have people who specially do that. And so I found that their salaries after a few years are quite good. And so I chased that. And along the way, I found a book called The 48 Laws of Power, which is all about self-help, helping yourself, doing good for yourself, improving yourself. And I loved that book. I tried to apply it as much as I could. I looked stupid at first when I tried some of the tricks and I didn't win. But the point is I had backup plans. If I didn't get a pay rise, like for example, when Darren didn't give me a pay rise, my old manager, um, I hope he's watching this. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I immediately started applying elsewhere. I'm not gonna lie, I was depressed for the next two days because of my failure. It would have been easy to just explain it as, oh, he is racist. He doesn't want brown people to prosper. No, none of that. That is nonsense. I think a lot of the ideas of, oh, everything is racist. Everything is sexist. Why do I have to try? Why should I try when I'm not, when, when they're not uh, going to give it to me anyway, because they don't like me because of their white privilege. I think that's nonsensical. I think that that's a good escape. And I think that the people that are pushing that, I think they need to learn from some of the books that I have read because they haven't even read those things and yet they're willing to really push this idea that everything is oppressive, everything is sexist. I really don't like those things. Anyway, point is because I had the book to kind of show me uh, and I'll, I'll tell you this now, one of my friends actually told me, ah, you know, these white guys don't want a brown person to prosper. Someone I work with who was also, he's a Caribbean guy. And so he, 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 me and him have had a similar upbringing and, and similar background as to what area we're from and stuff. So, so uh, and he's highly paid and, and he had that same philosophy and, and he was paid more than me at the time. I think he's paid, oh, he's definitely paid more than me right now. But uh, even in, at our highest levels, there's this perception that everything is racist. And, and I think that's bad because really and truly going forward, it's bad for other people trying to come up because now they have an escape for something that like you know a, a lack of negotiation skill and it's always like now this can or it becomes a case of now this campaign is my new fight i'm not going to fight for myself i'm going to fight for my people and my people fight together and uh, everything is uh, we're, we're fighting against this oppression which actually look uh in england you could argue or there's a lot of arguments that people of color don't earn as much but i'll say no because the people of color that don't earn as much are the people like me pakistanis as well as bangladeshis caribbean and, and africans and the highest salaries in this country are the chinese and the indians higher than the white guys in fact the chinese female on average is paid so high 
that her salary on average is higher than all other uh, males of all other groups. So there's something for everyone there. There's something for the feminists and there's something for the everything is racist people. Anyway, I've, waff I've deviated. I'll probably make another video specifically talking about neuroscience. So anyway, going forward, I was always fascinated with psychology. I think I've always had this fascination previously as well. And um, recently in lockdown, I lost a bunch of jobs and well, as in my contract ran out, uh, contractors were all let go by this company. And so even before I was let go, I was taking interviews and interviews with places I didn't even want to go to. And I realized that actually I was taking more satisfaction from the interview process itself rather than my actual or rather than the job itself that was at the end of that interview. And so that's when I realized, oh, I'm actually more fascinated with psychology. I want to create this YouTube channel then and show people how it's done. And, and my fascination got deeper and deeper. And I tried to understand the psychology a lot more. And then I started to understand, tried to understand the, the brain and the, the systems associated to certain feelings and thoughts. And that's how I got into neuroscience. And the next thing I know, I found this Coursera course in medical neuroscience. And then after that, I found King's College doing a distance learning master's in applied neuroscience and I said well damn let me go and do that and that is how I got to my current position of studying neuroscience or applied neuroscience at King's while of course also looking for a job because things are not looking good right now with lockdown <laughs> but we'll talk more about that in the future when I fix this particular issue because right now everything is crap money's crap well, because that's crap, other things are now getting affected. Um, anyway, done.